Hey guys, how are we all? Welcome to Maui Tarot. This is going to be a general weekly love reading for the sign of Aries. This can resonate with your sun, moon, rising or Venus sign. Now I could be reading for yourself or for your love interest, the one that's on your mind, so please use your own discernment and flip the roles to how would this best resonates with your situation, but please do not make the story fit. So if the reading resonates or a parts of message resonate, then that's great. If it doesn't resonate, then it's simply not your message. So please take what you feel fits and leave the rest, guys. So we're just using this one deck of cards today. This is the Modern Witch Tarot. So let's get into the reading, shall we? Angels of Love and Light, we please have clear and concise messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. What do they need to know in relation to love for this week, please? And thank you. Now, um, I'm shuffling this way because we're just reading the uprights, but if there is a reversal that comes out, then obviously I'll give you guys the interpretation. So let's get into the reading, shall we? Um, obviously guys, as you can tell, we are outside and I just wanted to get out of my room. I was kind of feeling a bit cooped up in there. So I just thought that the weather is so beautiful this week that I would get outside and embrace you know, nature <laughs> and get some fresh air because um, I just didn't want to miss out on the sunshine, you know? So let's get into this anyway. So I hope you guys can still hear me and see the video anyway. I appreciate the comments in the, uh, in the video just to find out from you guys what you think. Okay, wow, I'm getting that song. Dreams do, um, dreams do come true, Gabrielle. Dreams do come true. Da, 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 da. You know you've got to handle, you know you've got to be strong. So if someone is needing courage as of right now, you could potentially um, be dealing with a Leo because I was saying about courage and being strong. Um, someone is getting ready to speak of their truth here with the Ace of Swords and say that they want something long term. Wow. Or they've been thinking about it. Or they've had this kind of aha moment. Well, <laughs> if I can get my words out guys that there's deep love with a connection with a soulmate someone from the past here with the six of cups someone's getting ready to give some sort of offer I mean these cards are insane guys um I felt like I was stumbling on my words there so maybe someone is trying to get themselves together to speak up this could be you or your love interest here try not to kind of fumble over the words someone is trying to make sure they don't fumble over the words somebody's making plans to come in with that two of wands they're very passionate about coming in and showing of themselves they've been stuck for a while they couldn't make a decision but now they've made a decision and what they want is new love in their life here with the ace of cups and the full card which is you guys Aries so maybe you are wanting of this love or your person is or both of you are and either you're going to someone or they're coming to you however it resonates but there may have been some sort of trials and tribulations in the past with that seven of wands so therefore it i'm not i'm getting the sense it may not be so easy or like easily flowing between you and your love interest potentially because there's a sense of having to be on alert for some reason maybe you felt that you've had to be on your alert not necessarily like defensive but on the defense because you may be having to put up your boundaries or maybe your person feels like this way about you but there's going to be communication coming in here guys regardless of that eight of wands maybe even traveling to see of each other and have that kind of reconciliation with judgment i feel like there is a lot of um, divine guidance in relation to this with this sagittarius energy of judgment yeah I'm getting the full moon. We're, ha we're having the full moon actually is on the 14th and I'm recording this on the 13th. Um, but your readings will be coming out on the 14th. So yeah, there may be communication for some of you on the full moon or a few days after for some of you. Talking about a commitment of sorts or there may be a discussion about a previous commitment. Wow, with that kind of dog barking, I'm getting where my loyalties lie. So potentially someone was a bit confused about where their loyalties lied in a situation or where you and this person were together in the past or not together or how this kind of, 
I'm getting friendship could blossom and grow. So potentially you may have had a supposedly loyal friendship in the past or something didn't work out and there was a disagreement and there was a lot of pain and heartache here with that kind of everything is fine, but it wasn't fine. Both wanting of a new beginning and to bring sunshine to a situation, but the sunshine wasn't there before. But the sunshine is being lit on a very dark situation the light is kind of overpowering the dark. So what was in the dark is coming to light. You could be dealing with a Leo. And I said that earlier, didn't I? <laughs> Funny that. Right, um, let's get some cards on the table now for Aries. We've had enough of the backup story. Let's go for it, okay? <laughs> Please and thank you. <laughs> I'm getting no back chat, Missy. Um, so somebody may be saying to the other person, look, don't want any back chat, just kind of get on with it as it were. No, just this is what I want to say. Okay. Wow, the Empress with judgment. So <laughs> this is Taurus Libra energy, but this is also the Divine Feminine here. So I feel like either yourself is moving forward towards a Divine Feminine or you are a Divine Feminine and most likely a Divine Masculine is on their way to you if you are do res resonate with them twin flame journey but there is a lot of divine guidance in relation to bringing a connection in here with the judgment and the empress i mean this is really serious guys this is really serious somebody's definitely making moves i'm getting making waves so somebody's getting ready to make moves i'm getting make way for a connection make way for my love somebody i'm getting make way for my love I'm getting the sense of somebody like trying to clear the blocks and then kind of have a path opened up in the middle. So what was once kind of closed off like a dead end I'm getting for some reason. I'm getting like a dead end and then you get to the dead end and think oh well I can't go any further than here there's a roadblock so I guess we turn around but then all of a sudden it kind of like opens up magically and there's a new path where there was once a dead end so once where there was something that stopped completely it's like i'm getting unlocked level so <laughs> maybe somebody really likes computer games or gaming i'm getting like super mario now for some reason like gaming super mario yeah I'm getting, do you know what it was like that visual, like that vision I was getting was like, like a scene from Inception, um, the film Inception. And like what was once a, something there is now being changed. It's now crumbling away or it's moving away. I'm getting dreams. So yeah, with that Inception, maybe you, you dream of this person or you both dream of each other or, wow, okay. Somebody's getting ready to take the blindfold off and speak up yeah 2-2 two, 22-2-2-2 two. Two, two, two. you could be seeing those numbers look and guys this is like a new moon pretty much it's like a crescent moon maybe somebody for the past month or so since the last kind of like new moon or fast few weeks or whatever has been considering about communicating but there's a tower moment that's come in and someone's had the, the epiphany. They've been thinking about a connection for a long time about what it means to them. They were holding back and now they wanna bring it into fruition. I know the messages that I'm getting guys are really random. So obviously please just bear with me. I feel someone's had to really kind of go within with their intuition and follow their heart and their kind of desire as it were and move themselves forward after feeling bored and stuck and not emotionally fulfilled. They were holding on to something from the past, but now they're getting ready to communicate and reach out to, to temper the connection. This person was bored. I'm getting bored with their life. Wow, okay. Knight of Wands in reverse with the Three of Swords in reverse. Someone was really flighty in the past. This person could have been a bit in and out of your life. Um, I'm getting the sense they want to apologize and ask for a second chance and forgiveness. 
for after they most likely were, I'm gonna say it, um, potentially this person was a bit of a player in the past where they had a reputation, but they're now trying to turn their back on the old situation. They wanna heal, heal your heart, but they're trying to heal their heart because potentially they may have dealt with someone in the past that they've had some sort of infidelity happen in their life with a connection or a partner. Yeah, it could be this Queen of Pentacles here with someone they had a long-term commitment with, someone who they may have had children with. They may have tried to work it out with this person, but there was a sense of betrayal with that kind of Ten of Swords and something was illuminated. Yeah. I feel like your love interest may have tried to pursue this connection with this other person in relation to love. But then I'm getting the door was slammed in their face for some reason because of something that they found out that was really painful. They had love for this other person, but I feel like they're in love with you. Yeah. It's interesting to me because they're stressed having sleepless nights about making themselves known to you. Potentially there was a sense of deception in the past with that Nine of Swords, Two of Swords. This person may have been in denial about the connection with you or they were lying to themselves about what was really happening in the past and now they want to make themselves known to you and manifest this connection and close out an old chapter or an old book I'm getting for you to have a renewal and to move on forward with a new beginning. I feel like this person now wants to prioritise having a new beginning with you and they're really apologetic here with that page of cups. I feel like this person wants to put their heart on their sleeve. They know that you're not going to tolerate any BS here though with that Empress energy. You know, if this person isn't sure with what they want, then I feel like as much as you may like the idea of progressing with this connection, if this person isn't fully in with you, then it's like, if they're not fully in with wanting to build on something, you may be just a bit like, well, mm -mm. if it's taken you that long to figure out whether you are wanting of something or not wanting of something, even if it is something long time, long time, well, long time coming, long term in a relationship or with a friendship or a connection, you know, make your mind up with that Queen of Pentacles, because you're establishing to this person that you are worthy of something more and you're setting your ground with them. Look at that with that Queen of Swords. You're not playing with this person or this situation whatsoever. What else here for Aries, please, and thank you. I'm getting lots of hearsay. Look, this person wants to apologize and you're coming across as very much in Empress energy, but you're also coming across as Queen of Swords in some sort of regard, okay? And I felt like you most likely had to be that way in the past to make sure that you weren't gonna kind of suffer fools gladly, as it were. Um, this person wants to apologize and they're hoping that you are going to be more in your queen of cups energy even though they definitely recognize you as this empress like or emperor obviously as i'm reading energy here rather than gender or sex guys this person is hoping that when they do declare their feelings for you or show to you that they care for you that you are going to be in this empress queen of cups energy rather than necessarily the queen of swords yeah look at that seven of swords but you're unsure you're unsure whether you can take this person's apology whether you can accept it is it coming from a pure place are there good intentions behind this but this person does have good intentions but it's difficult to kind of see beyond the surface level of this person they're gonna have to be showing of themselves rather than just kind of paying you lip service. This person is having to show it with their actions that they want something more with you. And I feel like they're getting ready to come forward. Yeah, I feel like you've really worked on yourself and your self-esteem here, guys. And if this person is gonna be coming into your life, I feel like they need to battle some sort of 
insecurities or doubts or difficulties that they may have in their life maybe they're having to do some healing from their childhood you know maybe this person is fearful of your rejection maybe this person had their heart closed in the past because they may have given of their love to this other person in this other connection in this kind of karmic contract and they didn't have the equal give and take kind of relationship and this person's hoping that you're going to have patience with them and that you will eventually have the equal give and take with them with the six of pentacles and this person's trying to strategize on how to come forward and tell you that they are serious with that six of pentacles that they do want the equal give and take with you but yet you may have some questions you know you may be considering well do i want to put all of my eggs in one basket in relation to this person you know i feel like you're very much judging in the sense on this person's actions rather than their words i mean the thing is you know people can lie but the energy doesn't so you'll be able to use your discernment about whether this person is actually lying to you or not are they genuine are they coming from a good place look you know it with your intuition with the moon i literally just said you'll be able to figure it out with your intuition so whatever was hidden kept a secret as a mystery whatever illusion there was behind behind it all you're gonna know it and sense it and feel it all and oh my gosh how weird is that you know how i was saying there's like this kind of path leading in you know <laughs> that's so weird like a path is being made way for you and this person you both don't know necessarily where it goes but it's like having that trust and faith that whatever is hidden it's hidden for a reason but it's having blind faith blind faith that you guys will make it work but you've been up in your head about whether you can trust yourself enough about whether this person's actually going to bring you peace or are they going to bring you stress this person doesn't want to bring you stress they know that you're very calm right now and they don't want to disturb you but at the same time, they don't want to not be in your life. This person wants to be where you are. But they're battling with a lot of insecurities, anxieties and fears. And they may have a, a third person or a third situation in the mix here. You know, that's kind of around them still. So you can't be fully like naked, as it were, with each other emotionally. Um, because not everything is, is made clear as of yet. But this person views your connection as a dream come true, but they are kind of sitting on the sidelines waiting for things to turn around in divine timing with potentially a karmic contract of sorts with the devil, with the wheel of fortune and this page of swords. Their dream come true would, this, would be for this to finish out because it's a heavy burden on them here with that ten of wands. It is. It's been too much to bear and they were in a traditional commitment or situation with this person. Some of you, you know, they may have been married to this person. But I feel like they're getting ready to communicate to say that they've left and they want this equal give and take love partnership with you and they want to start off slowly and then move on forward because they envision what the connection would be like and that's the truth. They want to heal this with you. I feel like they're being guided to come forward towards you to give you equal give and take. They want to fight and protect this connection. They want to turn that ten of wands upright for what they had in another situation and they want to turn it into the six of wands with the four of wands adding up to the ten. So it's like two, it's like adding up of the same thing but it's two completely different energies. With that ten of wands in that other situation, you know, it's, it's all too much. And then obviously ten with the ten, with the wheel of fortune, ten ten, so you could be seeing those numbers of your person is. This person wants to, to feel like they can celebrate their life. They've worked hard for what they've got, but they want to work with you as well. I'm getting work with you, not against you. This person may have dealt with someone in the past who wasn't really a team player, who wasn't really a support system to them. Yep, 
Wheel of Fortune, beautiful. Things are turning around for your favour, your love interest favour. No more, no more crying, I'm getting. No more crying, no more being upset. I'm getting the nightmares are over. So someone's, someone's potentially been having very bad nightmares here, guys. About potentially you and this person not coming together. Oh my gosh, with the devil, look. There's the ending of the karmic contract. It's been cycled out. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or your person is. It's been too much, too much. They stayed in this for practical reasons, most likely. There wasn't really love in this other situation. They want a new beginning and they want to be out of this other connection because they can't think of anything else other than you. I don't know why I'm shuffling. I was meant to kind of finish there, really. But obviously there's more messages for you. The truth is coming out with that King of Swords about previous heartbreak here with that Three of Swords. You both have had to do a lot of healing. I mean, we have four majors on the table out of eight cards. There's something hugely significant going on in the unseen of what you, you know, you don't know of, okay? You and this person are most likely going to get together at some point and build on a solid foundation, but take things slowly, even though there's the urge to kind of rush into something. But this is a warning here with that seven of cups and the chariot, two sevens together. Oh, and also another seven. With the two sevens together, though, it's a warning not to rush into anything, to slow down, take your time with that knight of pentacles, have time to reflect on everything, nurture the connection and show it as some sort of labour of love of the two of you that you guys are allowing each other to take your time rather than rush of anything. Yeah. You could be seeing 777 or your person is, but there is love between the two of you with the Ace of Cups. Wow, I'm getting, it was always there. It was always there. Nine of Pentacles. This person has had to have a lot of time on their own to be self-sufficient, to get out a sense of codependency, to embrace a sense of self-love. Maybe you both have had to do this. Yeah, with the Strength card and the Nine of Pentacles. Could be dealing with a Leo. And then justice is coming either for yourself or for your love interest or both of you. And there has been pain and heartache and calm there's karmic rebalancing coming into play with an ending of an old painful cycle here, justice is being served after feeling stuck and trapped and up in your head to do with a commitment or just a connection of sorts. But there will be a passionate new beginning between the two of you with that Ace of Wands. There will be the, um, the energy I'm getting to revitalize or rekindle this connection if that is something that you are wanting. Yeah. I feel like your love interest is getting ready to let you know that they didn't have much fulfillment in the past with a certain lifestyle and I feel like this person has, I'm getting kidding themselves, they felt like they were kidding themselves in something with someone. And that's why the relationship had to end with the death card. They may have thought that there was passion there with this other person in this long-term connection, but I'm getting that that died a long time ago. That died a long time ago. And someone potentially was trying to pretend that they were single or they were acting out as if they were single but yet they were in a legal contract of sorts and someone may have found out something. I'm getting lots of messages here, guys. So obviously, please take what you feel resonates. Again, with the Ten of Swords. Ten, ten, keep seeing that. Look, healing with the Four of Swords, King of Cups. This person is needing to heal. They could be recovering from some sort of illness. This person may have not been very well. This person knows that you are a pair, really. I'm getting everyone wants you. So 
maybe they've got some sort of insecurities that they feel that everybody wants you. Yeah, as I say that with the page of wands, you may be very attractive. Or maybe your person is very attractive. Everybody wants you. Everyone wants to collaborate. But your, your person may be battling something deeper as of right now. To do with their confidence. There's a difference between someone who's attractive and somebody who wants attention and somebody who gets attention. There's a massive difference. I feel like you're one of these people who get attention, but you're not constantly needing the external validation of attention from others because most likely you're sitting here in empress energy and you get lots of people interested but you're kind of you've been you may have been hiding yourself for a little while here with that moon card you may have been secluding yourself knowing that you get attention but it's 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 depending on what type of attention you're getting you know but there's definitely a difference between somebody who wants attention and somebody who's getting attention And I feel like poss possibly there could have been someone in the past who was desperate for someone's attention and they were clingy and they were codependent rather than feeling comfortable within themselves, being independent and self-sufficient and getting attention and not necessarily getting attention because of their looks, but getting attention because of their energy, even though that they're most likely attractive if you know what I mean. I'm getting lots of different messages, so obviously please take what you feel resonates and leave the rest. Um, this was a really interesting read, guys, so I hope it wasn't too complicating and too confusing. Fusing, wow, fusion. I'm getting fusion. Getting fusion food. Maybe this person loves going to restaurants, they love fusion kind of style cooking, or maybe you do. Or maybe you and this person would be like a really beautiful kind of fusion of two opposites but you just seem to fit somehow there's going to be a lot of spontaneity in the connection with you and this person but i feel somebody is getting in, in kind of like in their own way as it were i'm getting stumbling over their own feet so somebody may have recently fallen over that's so random i know you know, you know when i'm getting <laughs> I'm getting somebody walking along on the pavement and they're kind of like trip over the curb or something on the side of the, the road and they kind of twist their ankle or they kind of fall on their ankle it's really painful but I'm getting that for some reason so somebody may be getting some sort of treatment for their ankle no idea <laughs> obviously guys please take me you feel resonates and leave the rest but that's going to be the end of the reading I hope that there was some messages in there that resonated a few messages, if not the whole reading. I hope you have um, enjoyed this reading as much as I've enjoyed reading for you today. And if you have enjoyed this reading and you did fancy supporting myself and the channel, there is a donation link now available. So thank you so much to those of you who have already donated. I greatly appreciate you. Um, even if you do not financially donate, a great way to energetically donate is to like, share, subscribe and comment down below. And I'll eventually get back to you guys on those comments. Um, even if you do not financially... Oh, wow. <sighs> okay. I'm getting, you mean the world to me and I can't let you go. You mean so much to me. Wow, okay. Um, sorry about that. My, I don't know what happened there. I, com I just completely got taken away by that kind of message. Um, so, yeah, if you have enjoyed this reading, um, please hit the thumbs up, the like button as it makes a massive difference with the channel. It really does help get the messages out there to people who need to see them at this time. So thank you all so much. 
I hope you have a wonderful week. Please take care of yourselves and we'll speak to you very soon. So thank you for being here. Take care. Bye for now.